Steve, always good to see you. Welcome back to the show. So the Chinese foreign minister blamed the U.S. for spreading disinformation with malicious intentions. We know that China shared intelligence that we gave them with Russia. So, I mean, where is the line here between using China to negotiate with Russia and holding them accountable for lying to us and sharing our intelligence? believed that our national security advisor knew where that line was, and I wish I believed he pushed back on the Chinese counterpart in at least as polite a terms as that counterpart treated him a year ago in Anchorage, where he barked, I think, some Black Lives Matter and other activist talking points back at the United States to push attention away from China's own abuses. And so China's diplomats don't have any problem roughing up their American counterparts. We seem to send in our country club friends with white gloves and try to p deliver some polite points. Uh, they said they have this hours and hours of conversation. The State Department gave us a one paragraph readout that essentially said we expressed our concerns. Uh, so I, I have no confidence that headway was made here. We need to be m making China concerned about not just breaking sanctions that relate to Ukraine and helping Russia, we need to put, be pushing back against China, throwing its own weight around in Asia and other parts too. And that seemed to be nowhere on the readout.